And you got to believe it. That from the impossible, you are going to take new territories. Hallelujah. Are you ready this morning to be fired up? If you are ready with a study ovation unto the mighty Jehovah, shall we receive unto the poor, our own pastor, Reverend and our Lord. They put your hands together for him as he comes. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Do we have a witness? We are coming from behind. Hallelujah. From the impossible, we are going to see miracles upon miracles. Hallelujah. This week we've been spending time to break some barriers. And I believe... We are going to experience unprecedented miracles in the name of the Lord Jesus. We believe God for it, and so shall it be. Hallelujah. It's a joy to see you in church today. Please stand. And those of you joining us um, online, please stand wherever you are. If you can, if you can, and let's make our declaration of fruitful, fruitfulness. Hallelujah. Say after me, the eternal God. Is our refuge. He opens rivers and desolate heights. The Lord makes the wilderness a pool of water. The Lord God is my son and shield. The Lord gives grace and glory. Therefore, I delight myself in him. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall be fresh and flourishing. Though the earth be shaken, the name of the Lord is my strong tower. By faith, I affirm that in Christ alone is my salvation. In him I live and move and have my being. It is written, the righteous are like a tree planted by the waters, bearing fruits in its season. So I boldly declare, as for me, my God has made me a sinner fruitful. In this season, my spirit bears fruits of righteousness. My talents make way for me. With my hands, I will plant, I will build, I will harvest day by day, step by step. In Jesus' name, Jesus. amen. amen. Kindly of take your seats in the presence of the Lord. And it's a joy to see you. And Doc, it's a joy, Dr. Daniels, to see you here in Canada and, 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 and joining our service in person today. Hallelujah. Amen. Welcome from Ghana. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, today we've already spent um, the first... Um, session of this meeting um, focusing on our sex prayer topics as we take new territories. Today that is the focus, that is the theme for the day, um, taking new territories. And I'm going to, as I have been doing, exhort briefly on this um, theme and then we'll rise to pray. I am ready to pray and I believe you are ready to pray. We have come to the point where I believe um, it's our time to take some fresh territories. Last week, by the grace of God, we took possession of our keys, and those who were on Friday meeting, I waved the keys, hallelujah, as I promised that we were, I was going to do. And that is an indication that the Lord is doing awesome things in our lives. They say it's impossible, but God says it's possible, and we dare to believe God. And God has made it possible. Hallelujah. So turn your Bibles with me, and we are going to read our anchor scripture, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1 to 8, after which we'll turn to the book of Joshua and read from verse one, chapter 1 and read from verse 1 to 9. So two key scriptures for uh, my exhortation. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1 to 8. And you'll have this in your prayer bulletin. If you are joining us um, for the first time, you don't have a copy of the prayer bulletin, Please um, go to our website, www.icgcedmonton.com. On our front page, 
um, you see 40 days of power, just click on it, and all the various prayer bulletins are there. And this evening, we are going to be adding the focus for, um, for next week. And these um, prayer topics have been put um, carefully together, and together, um, under the leadership of our general overseer across the face of this globe, International Central Gospel Churches, together with other Christians who are joining, we are praying. So if you don't have your, your bulletin, that's where you can find it. Um, once we get it, we put it on our website and it's easy for people to follow along. So Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1 to 8. These are the words which Moses spoke to all Israel on this side of the Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain opposite Suf, between Paran, Tophel, Laban, Hazaroth, and Dizah. It is an 11-day journey from Horeb by way of Mount Seir to Kadesh Barnea. Now it came to pass in the 40th year, in the 11th month, on the first day of the month, that Moses spoke to the children of Israel according to all that the Lord had given him as commandments to them. After he had killed Sihon, king of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and Og, king of Bashan, who dwelt at Ashtaroth in Adre. On this side of the Jordan in the land of Moab, Moses began to explain this law, saying, The Lord our God spoke to us in Horeb, saying, You have dwelt long enough at this mountain. If you can underline that phrase, please do. If you can highlight that phrase, please do. It says you have dwelt long enough at this mountain. Sometimes we get to a point in our lives where we have a witness on the inside that we've been here for far too long. We have dwelt in this place for far too long. And that is why it's about time we begin to rise up and take the territories and the lands that God has given to us. He says you have dwelt long enough at this mountain, verse number seven. Turn and take your journey and go to the mountains of the Amorites, to all the neighboring places in the plain, in the mountains and in the lowlands, in the south and on the seacoast, to the land of the Canaanites and to Lebanon as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. Verse number eight. See, I have set the land before you Go in and possess the land which the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give them and their descendants after them. See, I have set the land before us. God, through this word, is telling us that we have dwelt in this place for far too long. You have stayed at this side of the Jordan for far too long. You have hanged out in this wilderness for far too long. It's about time to go in. Go in. Because I have set a land before you. God says, see it, observe it. And turn and take your journey and go and possess the land. Joshua chapter 1, verse 1 to 9. I don't know where you stand in your life today. For some of you, you've been on that um, position for far too long. It's about time you rise up and move to that next level that God has in store for you. Hallelujah. Joshua chapter 1, verse 1 to 9. After the death of Moses. So in Deuteronomy, Moses was the one talking. Now, in Joshua 1, the Bible says, After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over the Jordan, you and all these people, land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. And please pause there for a minute before we continue from the three. It says, arise, go over the Jordan. Jordan is a preventive barrier. Jordan it's a preventive limitation. And this week we have been breaking some of these barriers. Hallelujah. I want to believe that you have exhausted the list you have. You have broken all those barriers. You have broken all those preventive um, limitations in your life. God says go over this. 
It's time to scale over those walls. It's time to run um, through those troops and possess the possession that God has given to us. So from verse 3, every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses. This statement is so powerful. It says every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, to the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and to the great sea toward the going down of the sun, shall be your territory. Verse number five. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you, nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage. For those, to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. Take note of the word you. You will make your way prosperous after you have done these things that I'm telling you. And you will have good success. You, you, you. There is a part God does and there is a part we do. Hallelujah. We are breaking the barriers and I believe we are ready as we head into next week um, from tomorrow to claim every promise that God has set for us. Verse number nine. Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage? Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I believe that life comes, each one of us, go through life in stages and in levels. We move from year one to year two to year three to the number of years that God has given to us to spend here in this world. In our school system, we move from level to level. In life, we move from one stage to the other. There was a time when we were babies and then we became something else. Now we became aware of ourselves. We're able to walk. We're able to talk. We become children. We move from children to become um, teenagers and, and then to become young adults, to become adults, to become old men and women and, and what have you. We experience life in stages and levels. And I believe that as we move from one stage or level to the next, that is the key means by which we take any territory that is in front of us, any territory that God has given to us. And so let's begin with this question, what is a territory? When we talk about taking new territories, what do we mean? What is a territory? So the scriptures we have read talked about a land that God has promised to give Abraham and to his descendants. So a territory is an assigned area. An assigned area. Field of knowledge or interest. It's an assigned area, and the word assigned is so important. What is a territory? It's an assigned area, it's an assigned field of knowledge. It refers to that specific provision, 
plan or unusual blessing that God has reserved for you as a believer. I want to define it within the context of believers and what God has said. For Israel, it was a land that God promised them. For you, it may not be a land, but it may be a particular provision, a field of interest, a field of knowledge, a particular level of fear that God will want you to occupy. And so when we talk about taking new territories, that is what we mean. Exactly two years ago, we set ourselves to make sure we don't continue to reign forever. And so for us, a church auditorium, buying our own church auditorium, became a territory that we wanted to take. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9, the Bible says, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. That specific provision, that specific plan, that blessing, that promise, is your territory. And God is saying that he is able to do far more than what our hearts can even imagine. He is able to do far more than what we can think about or we can even intend. And so today, as we prepare ourselves to rise to pray, think about the territories that you want to take. For some of you, that territory will be a marriage. It will be a relationship. It will be that um, relationship you have that has gone so bad and you need to do something about it. You spend this way breaking down the, those barriers. It's about time you begin to take that relationship, take that marriage, and tell the devil, devil, enough is enough. You will no longer mess with my marriage. You will no longer mess with my life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For some of you, that territory will be stopping that drinking. And I've shared the testimony before. Maybe those friends, you need to change them. I've told you some time ago, that if you are friends who encourage you to drink, the next time you visit with them and they give you the drink and they pour it in the glass, take it and open your hand and let it fall and break. Make a strong statement to them. And they will ask you, why? Are you sick? No, you are not sick. You intentionally drop that glass or drop that bottle to break that thing and tell them from today you are no longer drinking. If you realize they are going to worry you, change those friends. When I got born again, I remember I was sitting down with um, a particular friend. And we were sitting at, 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 at a place um, for, it was a club, I mean for booze and all that. And then I told him I was born again. And he, he looked straight into my eyes and gave me three months. Say you, I've given you three months. As for these SU people, we have seen them. I'm giving you three months. You have to make a strong statement. So that territory will be stopping drinking or stopping smoking. Unfortunately, there are people who do so many things. And I'm not here to um, talk about um, pinpoint some of these things, but I just want to broaden your mind as to what a territory can be. There are people who are in the house of God who smoke all sorts of things. So you see them, hey, ja, hey, ja, hey, ja, hey, ja, hey, ja. They are smoking something or they are drinking something. Hallelujah. They don't act normal. They don't act normal. And for, 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 for such people, that will be a territory. Maybe you are not the sound of my voice and you are hearing me this morning. That will be a territory for you. And you are telling yourself that after spending this week to break down those barriers, you are claiming, you are claiming your sanity as a believer. Hallelujah. Don't allow the devil to mess up with your life. So, question number two. How can we take fresh or new territories? Three key things from the scriptures that I've read. Three key things. 
taking new territories. How can we take new territories? Number one, think and act on the promises of God. Think and act on the promises of God. The thinking is so important. You cannot act if you don't think. So think about the promises of God day and night. Because I believe with all my heart that taking fresh territories begins with what God has said. Think about those promises. Call them to mind. Reflect on them. Ponder about these promises that God has spoken to you about. The way we think determines the way we act. And sometimes in life, when we are surrounded by so much negativity, it becomes very difficult for us to think the way God wants us to think. But this morning I'm here to tell you that just because you are surrounded with negativity or just because you have negative ideas that are floating around you does not mean that we should occupy our minds with those ideas. Hallelujah. The truth of, about life is that you cannot stop some of these ideas from floating around you. You can't stop it. But you can stop your mind from feeding on those ideas. Hallelujah. You can stop your mind from feeding on those ideas. So if you want to take fresh territories, it's important to think and act on the promises of God. Feed on those promises. And especially those promises that are rooted on the word of God. Because God is the beginning. He's the Alpha and the Omega. If you spend time to think about what he has said. Moses spoke to the people. And God comes to Joshua again to speak that same word unto him. And so that territory was something that Joshua thought about. And no wonder, as he began to, began to think about it, God began to give him ideas. You see, when you spend time to think about the promises of God, you are able to generate creative ideas. They have been in the wilderness on this side of the Jordan for far too long. When God spoke to Moses, Moses um, Joshua, Joshua comes to them and said, prepare yourself. Within three days you are moving. Three days. And what did he do? He first sent spies. He didn't send 12 of them. He sent only two. <laughs> Hallelujah. He was part of the company that was sent first by Moses. There were 12. Only two came with a good report. He and Caleb. So when it was Joshua's time, he didn't send 12, he sent two. Because he realized that 10 out of 12 can sometimes be junk. God doesn't save with plenty. Hallelujah. He can save with plenty and he can also save with the few. Only two people came with a good report. So when it was Joshua's time, he only sent two people, two spies. Two. And it was because he was thinking. God told him, meditate on the word. Think about it. Call it back to mind. Reflect on it. Ponder about it. It's so, so, so important. Because we need to be able to generate creative ideas to be able to take the territories that are ahead of us. It's not just going to come by prayer, 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 prayer. When you pray, you think, and then God will help you to get ideas, creative ideas. Winning ways will drop into your heart. Strategies will come to you. Do this. Start this one. Stop this. Begin to do this. And as you begin to do that, day by day you will see yourself getting closer and closer and closer. When you think and act on God's word, the thinking part will help you to be able to see life from God's point of view. Hallelujah. That's what meditation does. It helps you to see life from God's point of view. And I believe with all my heart that God's point of view is full of possibilities and hope. They will tell you you cannot do it, 
But God's point of view is full of possibilities. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and say, there is a possibility. Tell him or her, there is a possibility. Hallelujah. The Bible says with him, all things are possible. The Bible says in Christ, we have a future and a hope. It says, I know the plans that I have for you. They are plans of good and not of evil. To give you a future and a hope. So think and act on the promises of God, on the word of God. It's so, so important. Keep that word before you. Keep that promise before you. Whatever the Holy Ghost has inspired in your heart, that is rooted in scripture, keep it before you. It's not by mind, it's not by power. It's definitely going to come to pass. Hallelujah. Number two. Respond to that promise, to that call from God with faith, courage, and obedience. To respond with faith, courage, and obedience. Respond to what? Respond to that call of God. After knowing what God has promised you, the next thing is to arise and respond to that call. And you are responding with faith, you are responding with courage, and you are responding with obedience. He told Joshua, arise and go over the Jordan. It's time to step into that promise. It's time to step into that blessing with faith, boldness, and courage. Many of us have experienced God as the God of manna for far too long. But that's what God did in the wilderness. He fed them with manna. Go check your, your Bible. Joshua chapter 5. The manna seized. Hallelujah. Faith, courage, and obedience. It's time to experience God as the God of war and not just as the God of manna. Hallelujah. This whole week has been a time of war. We are breaking down barriers. We are spoken to the enemy. We are commanded him. As a believer, you have to be somebody who has have experienced God as the God of war and not just as the God of manna. As you begin to Grow in your life. You come to a point where God says, from today you have to start killing for yourself. You have to start fending for yourself. Those of us who are parents, what do we do? When our children are children, we take care of them. We feed them. And then when they begin to grow, we start giving them the opportunity. You come to my house now, nobody gives anybody Rule as to what to eat and when to eat. Hmm. And sometimes if you are not careful, by the time you say Jack, all the bits is gone. <laughs> because nobody monitors anybody. We are all mature. That's how you teach people. Hallelujah. Faith, boldness, courage, obedience. The obedience part is something I want to highlight before we move to the third point and start praying. This obedience thing is so important. You see, when you are responding to God's call and you forget obedience, you will not go very far. If you look at how God dealt with them, how God dealt with them. The first city to take when they crossed the Jordan was Jericho. For them to take that city, the Bible said the city had walls. There were so many limitations around it, but they needed to break it. And it was not humanly possible. And so God had to give them his strategy. And the strategy was to march around the city. Say, so Joshua, you and the people, 
march around this city every day. Start from a point, go around, and come back to the same point in complete silence. No noise, no talking. And not the people of war. He said, every one of them. I don't know how to control children when you are marching. But God said, no noise, no word. No noise, no word. Except for the seven trumpets that were playing, nobody zim. And then on the seventh day, you do that seven times. And then after that, shout. And when you take Jericho, everything that is in Jericho, 100% is mine. 100% is mine. Don't touch anything. Destroy anything. Everything. That was the word of the Lord. And that is why obedience is so critical. I believe that we need strict obedience as we prepare ourselves to take new territories. The first city to take, God says, destroy everything. Everything is mine. Don't touch anything. The cities after that, they were taking the plunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the gateway city to the promised land, God said, destroy everything. For some of you, your territory has to be your giving to God. You have struggled with giving, especially tithes and, and your first fruits, for far too long. For far too long. We have given excuses. Oh, God understands. I'm here to tell you God doesn't understand. When it comes to obedience, he doesn't. He says, I said before you, life and death. He won't force you, but you have to make that conscious decision to obey the law. And for some of you, that will be a territory for you. As we're about to end this 40 days of power, you want to declare that after this 40 days of power, your Christian life will never be the same. Hallelujah. Giving will become a territory that we are going to take. Giving will become a territory that we are going to take. Strict obedience. Number three. Don't allow fear. Discouragement. Pain. Procrastination. And the list goes on. To stop you of doing what God has called you to do. You can add so many things here. God comes to Joshua and said, be strong. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. If you want to take fresh territories, you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid. There are certain territories when you, especially those of us who have come into this part of town as immigrants. There are certain things when you want to start, people will tell you, hey, don't do that. He said, hey, don't do that, don't do that. I remember our first house we bought here under four years in this country. Somebody told me, hey, Emmanuel, when I came, I stayed in an apartment for seven years. As for this country, you have to be careful. 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 Somebody looked at him and said, ah, you under four years and you've been able to buy a house in Canada. But I didn't buy that house, though. I want to borrow the word of my friend. I said, what toy? What could you be? Who told die and nature? I said, what to your car? Me, I only put 5% down. And I'm called GB. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are not paying 100%. It's only 5% down. And then go and collect some. So most of them to die, I'm to die, I'm to die. Toy. What could you die? Hey. Amen. Amen. And this person said, look, we spent seven years in an apartment. 
You have to take your time. You have to take your time. And that time, the person started talking to me about recession. Now, I knew people who went and bought houses, and then there was this recession, and they had to lose their houses, and so you have to be careful, you have to be careful, you have to be careful. We live in a country of, oppos- of possibility, of opportunity. 5% go collect some. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. If you allow fear, I can guarantee you, you will spend all your life and still not be able to save that 5%. Because there are people ready who will always make sure your telephone doesn't stop ringing. And then you repatriate. (laughs) Clean, you repatriate. But put that 5% down, go and collect some. When you hear clean, then you begin to strategize. Say, my brother, things are tough here. (laughs) Otherwise, you will repatriate and repatriate and repatriate and repatriate. Don't allow fear. Don't allow discouragement. One good advice we got in that um, season. A man, an elderly man, looked straight into my eyes and said, Emmanuel, when you go for a mortgage, your first three months is the critical one. If you survive it, don't worry. The rest is done. If you pay your mortgage continuous for three months, you survive it, don't worry. The rest is done. So, just think and on the promises of God, that will help you to create ideas. You'll begin to know whether the numbers check out or not, whether the ratios are working or not. And once it starts working for you, don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Some of the territories God is calling us to take, if we are, and, and for me, when I look at the auditorium, that is something so small. As far as God's plans for us as a church is concerned. If we are struggling with auditorium, then how can we do big things for God? Hallelujah. How can we do big things for God? Taking new territories is about stretching ourselves to become all that God wants us to be. Hallelujah. Life will give you what you take out of it. Hey, life will give you what you negotiate for. And so don't allow anything to hinder you. Break every preventive barrier and limitation. And go ahead and claim that blessing. Go ahead and claim that promise. Go ahead and see the miracle of God coming out of all those impossibilities you have. This is our time. This is our time. Today, as we rise, I want you to rise with faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please the Lord. We have to trust Him. And with that, please stand wherever you are. You, are, you may be at a certain place today, but I want you to begin to spend a minute to think about where you are and the territory that God will want you to take. Think about it. And we are going to start with prayer point number seven. I want you to please go to your prayer bulletins. Open them. It's going to be projected, but make sure you have it. We are going to start with prayer point number seven. And we are just taking um, seven and eight together. Ask God to take away fear from you. And stir your heart with faith to trust him as he guides you to the expected end. And you want to ask the Holy Spirit to lead you on the right path to possess new territories. Ask him to direct your steps in all circumstances. Lift your voice and begin to talk to the Lord. Lift your voice and begin to talk to the Lord. Begin to look at a prayer point and pray them, take them one after the other in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. And can the, can the intercessors please help me as we begin to pray today? Yes, in the name of Jesus. Bandage fear, bandage fear. Take authority over the spirit of fear. Command it out of your heart. Command it out of your heart. Command it out of your heart. Command it out of your heart in the name of Jesus. Don't allow pain. Don't allow discouragement. 
Yes, in Jesus' name. Stay, 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 my heart of God, with faith to trust you, with faith to trust you. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke every spirit of fear. I rebuke every spirit of fear. Labosha, I rebuke the spirit of fear. I rebuke the spirit of fear in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let there be a stirring, a stirring, a stirring. Oh God, as I feed on your word, as I think about the word, I thank you, oh God, that faith, faith is activated. Faith is activated. It's stand up, oh God. Faith, oh God. Faith, oh God, to trust you, to trust you as you guide me to the expected end in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Touch every Every one of us in God, in the name of Jesus, take away fear from us. 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 In the name of Jesus, take away fear from us. Take away fear from us. Take away fear from us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Labarosha Babanda Makaya. Hey, in Jesus' mighty name, Lord, I pray, stand my heart, stand my heart with faith. Stand my heart with faith, stand my heart with faith in the name of Jesus. With faith in the name of Jesus. The ability to trust you, the ability to hold on to you, the ability to believe you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, stand my heart with faith in Jesus' mighty name. Stand my heart with faith in Jesus' name. Lord, the Spirit, lead me on the right path. Lead me on the right path. Order my steps. Order my steps. Order my steps to take the territories of God that you have assigned for me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, direct my steps. Direct my steps. Direct my steps. In the name of Jesus. Alebosha, Beri beke te Beri beke bora ba ya ba ba ya ba. Lebosha ba 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 ya. Niri beka to bora ba ya ba 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 ba. Ya ba roste de 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 de. In the name of Jesus. You want to jump to prayer point number nine and ten? By faith, declare that God will strengthen your hand to break barriers and guide you to enter into your new territories. Amen. For some of you, your academics will be is, 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 a, is a territory for you. That exam that you have in front of you is a territory. If you don't pass that, you don't move to that next level. And you are asking that the Lord will strengthen your hands and guide you to enter into those territories. Amen. Prayer point number 10, ask God to direct you on the path of righteousness as you pursue new territories. Declare that you will not follow the wisdom of the world contrary to God's word. Remember, it starts with the promises of God. It starts with the word of God. The Bible says the grass face and the flower withers, but the word of God shall stand forever. That promise that is based on the word of God shall stand forever. And so not the wisdom of the world, not the wisdom of the world. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Father, Prayer point nine and ten. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare, oh God, I declare, oh God, I declare, oh God, yes, that I'm strengthened. I I am strengthened to break barriers. I am strengthened to break barriers in the name of Jesus. To break barriers, whatever is an impossibility, whatever is a barrier, the barrier of lack of finance, we commanded broken, we commanded broken, we commanded broken, will not allow money, Lord. Yes, and it will hinder us from doing what He wants us to do in the name of Jesus. Guide me, Lord, to enter into new territories in Jesus' mighty name. Guide me to enter into new territories. Under my steps, Lord, lead me, Lord. Direct me, Lord. Guide me, Lord. Lead me, Lord. Direct me, Lord. Guide me, Lord. Lead me, Lord. Direct me, Lord. Guide me, Lord. Lead me, Lord. Direct me, Lord. Guide me, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Maros Jabaya, Diri Mika Tobori, Amda Bakabambi. Guide me to enter, enter, Lord, enter, Lord, enter, Lord into those fresh territories. 
Yes, in the name of Jesus, there are signs for you. That specific confession you have for my life. That specific plan, that specific plan you have for my life. In the name of Jesus, I may guide me, guide me to embrace it, to possess it. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray the red on the part of righteousness as I pursue you, charity. I declare, Lord, I will not follow the wisdom of the world. I will not follow the wisdom of the world. I will not follow the wisdom of the world, the strategies of the world, in the name of Jesus. I will not follow the wisdom of the world, the strategies of the world. Yes, the, 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 the ideas and the philosophies of men. But I will, I will my eyes to God. Yes, we will lift it to you, Lord. We will lift it to you at all times. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. La Bosha. Bobby make a say that we make a bomb. In the name of Jesus. What do you say, prayer point 11 and 12? Ask God to shine the light of his word on your paths so you don't stumble and fall. Pray that you will take the right steps towards possessing new territories for his glory. In the name of Jesus. The right steps. The right steps. There's not a time to stumble. There's not a time to fall. There's a time to allow God to shine his light. The light of his word. His word is a lamp to our feet and a light unto our path. Prayer point number 12. Ask the Lord to lead you out of mediocrity. Self-pity and procrastination that will hinder you from possession of new territories. Sometimes all we do is we procrastinate. Oh, I'll do it next time. I'll do it next time. But one of the things God has taught me is that when he drops the signal, I don't hesitate. I don't hesitate. I don't hesitate. Courage. And what is courage? Courage. Courage is you are afraid, but you are still taking those steps and moving forward. That is courage. That's the best way I define it. So there is some element of fear, but you are still going. I don't like heights, but for me to come into this country, I had to sit in in an airplane. And that one was a big one. That one was a big one. The first time I went to the United States, I, I traveled with a colleague of mine to the United States um, Department of Agriculture Outlook Forum, and I traveled with a work colleague of mine. And this guy was so afraid when the plane is about to land. Me, when the plane is about to land, that's not what I'm afraid. When the thing is taking off. I remember in Ghana, when the thing was taking off. Hey, my goodness. I held my seat and come and see tongues that were not coming out. I said, I'll make it. I know somebody who was coming into Canada, and then as he was, she was descending, she, as she was descending um, the escalator, she tripped. But this lady was a, a married woman, and I like her testimony. He said, you lie bad. I will see my husband. I will see my husband. Even in that, I will see my husband. God, shine down your light on us. Lift your voice and begin to pray. 11 and 12. You have a projected. Shine down your light. Lord. This is not the time to stumble. This is not the time. This is not the time to stumble. I will not stumble. I will not fall. In the name of Jesus. I will not procrastinate. No matter what the enemy throws at me, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I march forward. I march forward. I will not be stopped. I will not be stopped. I refuse to be stopped. In the name of the Lord Jesus. For your glory in the name Lord, of Jesus. Lord, shine your light on my path, Lord. I receive courage to take those steps forward in my life in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. I am taking the right steps. 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 
I am taking the right step in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, deliver me, oh God. Deliver me, oh God. Lead me out of mediocrity. Lead me out of mediocrity. Lead me out of mediocrity. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I want to jump to prayer point number 13 and 14 and the protection. You are thanking God for being your shield, your defense, and your protection. You want to ask him to be your shelter from all hate, harm, and danger. Somebody say, and danga. No danger, danga. Hallelujah. That God will be your shield. You see, this world can sometimes be wicked. There are some men who are reasonable. There are people who throw many things at you. That whatever the... Um, people throw at you as you take fresh territories. You see, the territory you, you want to take, somebody is occupying that land. And they are not going to sit down to allow you to take that territory. If you go for that interview, look at the number of people who are attending that interview for that same job that you are looking for. You want to thank God that is your show. Prayer point number 14, ask God to protect your mind. Declare that you will not be conformed to the image of this world, but you will be transformed into its image. That God will protect your mind. As we go through the steps, a lot of things come, and sometimes we get so confused, and then we move off track. But lift your voice. Begin to pray now. Jesus, pray thank, you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, I thank you, Father. For Father, you are my shield. You are my defense. You are my, defense. Lord, you are my strong you tower. To my shelter. You are my strong oh, tower. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. 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 Shout at me from hell, from harm, from danger. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, I give you praise. You are my protection. You are my protection. You are my defense. You are my strong tower. You are my protection. You are my defense. You are my strong tower. In the name of Jesus, Lord, protect my mind. 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 In the name of Jesus, I will not be conformed to the image of this world, but I will be transformed into your image. In the name of Jesus, I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind. Of Christ, I am the mind of Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. One or two prayer points 15 and 16. Pray that God will protect your dreams against any negative influences and people who may hinder you from possessing new territories. And you want to ask the Lord for wisdom and discernment as you step into and pursue unfamiliar territories. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Protect my dream, Lord, against negative influences, against negative people. Protect my dream, Lord. Protect my dream, Lord. Anything, Lord God, that will hinder me from possessing the new territories that you want me to take. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, protect me. Protect me, Lord. Lord. Yeah, grant me wisdom, grant me discernment as I step, oh God, into this unfamiliar territories in the name of Jesus. As I step into, Lord, this unfamiliar territories, Lord, grant me wisdom, grant me discernment, grant me insight in the name of the Lord Jesus. Our final um, two prayers for this session, and then please continue when you get home.
prayer points 17 and 18. In the name of Jesus, frustrate all conspiracies and evil schemes directed at your progress into new territories. Declare that God is your strength and covering. And thank God for his protection and victory for you in this season. Declare that in Christ Jesus you are more than a conqueror. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Father God, in lift, the your name voice. Of Jesus. lift your voice. Lift your voice. We frustrate all conspiracy. Every conspiracy. Every conspiracy of sabotage. Every conspiracy of defamation. Yes, in the name of Jesus, we frustrate it. We frustrate it. Every conspiracy, oh God, of defamation. Yes, of sabotage. We we frustrate it in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, you are my strength, you are my covering, you are my strength, you are my covering, you are my strength, you are my covering. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, thank you for your protection. Thank you for your protection. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of 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 Jesus. Before we make our declaration, before we make our declaration, I want us to turn prayer points 17 and 18 to declaration. So say after me, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I frustrate. I frustrate all conspiracies, all conspiracies, conspiracies of sabotage, conspiracies of sabotage and, defamation. and defamation. I frustrate them in the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare, I declare that God, that God is my strength, is my strength and, my and my covering. I declare, I declare that in Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus I, I, I am more. I am more than the conqueror. Than a conqueror. In, Jesus name. in Jesus name. Let's take our first declaration. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I affirm that. I affirm that. I am the seed of Abraham. I am the seed of Abraham. The blessing spoken upon Abraham. The blessing spoken upon Abraham. And his descendants. And his descendants. Are my portion. Are my portion. Therefore today. Therefore today. I step out. I step out. Of every bondage. Of every bondage. And restriction. And restriction. Into liberty. Into liberty. I stretch out. I stretch out. To take new territory, to take new territory in every sphere. In every sphere of my life, of my life, I break free. I break free. I break free. I break free from stagnation, from stagnation into new grounds, into new grounds. And I possess my possessions, possess my possessions. in the name of in Jesus. The name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Why don't you celebrate the Lord with a shout? Oh, yeah, amen. Hey! Glory! Yes! Hallelujah! Masuliata! Yes!